Julie went on Compound Media to talk with Anthony Cumia about Stuttering John. So I'm going to play this to give you my thoughts on it. Um, and they might also trash Chad Zumach in this as well. But apparently Stuttering John is still doing things behind the scenes. Let's say what uh, Cumia and Julie had to say about it. Them trashing Stuttering John. The um, uh, now that I got my new Twitter account back, uh, yeah. Stuttering John hasn't blocked it yet, <laughs> so I'm able to read him and stupid Chad Zumach haven't blocked me yet. <laughs> so I'm able to read their stupid tweets, I, and I, I get so tempted to comment, but I don't want to block it because I want to be able to easily read it without having to go to an alt account or anything. So uh, it is pretty funny, you know. I, I've, I've been reading that John uh, making threats. He's coming back apparently what have you heard being you know the the head muckety muck of the uncle rico show you you're up to date on your stut joe news what is the plan is he coming back who are these people these initials that he writes down that he says these people are gonna have to pay for their unjust uh, unjust uh, treatment of john you know, John is is both a snitch and cryptic at the same time. Which is tough. It's a tough box to fit in, right? When you're <laughs> you're ratting out, but you're not really saying anything. Right. Uh, yeah, he apparently him Casey. You know, a while back did a video where he was basically saying like uh, interns wrote more questions for John's red carpet thing than John did. Like John yeah. put very little effort into his job there he wasn't part of lotus notes and all this internal stuff and and john did not react well to oh, that oh i and, bet and and took to twitter and th- and threatened K- which listen i i'm not saying there's anything wrong with casey i'm just saying from what i've heard on the radio throughout the years if you could take your pick of people to threaten on the stern show KC is not the guy I'm picking. No, no, no. Yeah. I, I've I've heard uh, we we t- we text back and forth every so often, myself and Casey. I would not fuck with Casey. <laughs> no, no, and yeah. and uh, and so him and John uh, kind of went out. But we're also in a weird place where like trolls have now taken on these people. Trolls. Right? Trolls. Motherfuckers. <laughs> trolls. <laughs> Fucking bitches. Um, they they impersonate different people's emails and they and they do like shit that would really fuck some people up. Yeah, and yeah. It's happening on a lot of sides right now. So I think they're kind of fanning the flames right now and getting these two to to just get crazier and crazier with it's like a game to them, yes. you know? But shit's getting fucking crazy, man. This this game is nuts. It's people. interactive. It's a way to be have an interactive, like virtual reality game that's actual reality. So they stir them up, and then they get to watch the the fruits of their labor by trolling uh, in in the real world where these two want to kill each other or, or something. Yeah. And then you have two people who are already kind of crazy, and you're going, "Hey, this isn't necessarily real." And they go, "Yeah, okay, whatever." They yeah, go, yeah. I yeah. know what's real, but you know. <laughs> yeah, so cryptic John was. Uh, I love reading uh, cryptic John because uh, you try to figure it out. He puts a, a one letter initial up there, and you're like, "Okay, that could be this guy or this one." And, uh, yeah, you will use different names for Carl or you or myself. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's pretty pretty interesting uh, and what have you heard about his return is there a date where he will return to podcasting uh, as far as i've heard there's no solid uh, or firm date i think he's very close to selling his place uh, uh-huh. in away and then i think he's moving out to florida oh so, yes so we're all the sane rational people that were in bro- some form of broadcasting move <laughs> I believe it's called Kumia Country. Right, that right, Kumia right. Country. He better, he better watch it when he walks around. You know how that could be. Uh, so yeah, I mean that. That, by the way, the Chad Zumok story is is like a Netflix documentary. Yes. You get enough of this shit, dude. Yeah, they, they, it just goes on like a Netflix documentary. You're watching it, and then at the end of an episode, it's like, okay, that, and then something else happens, and you're like, wait. 
get the fuck out of here. Yes, that's what happens. It's literally every night. My wife and I were like, all right, after this one, we're going to bed. And and it's the little, it's the last 60 seconds. They fucking hook you and you yep. go, all right, we got, all right, last one. One more, last one part. more. That's it, though. One but more. It, it, the story is, is becoming that. It's it, There's so many twists and turns and and uh, so many people yelling. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. He's really out of his mind. Where Whereas Stuttering John is I think just he's not a smart guy. I think he's very stupid. Uh, there's uh, Obi is uh, not a smart guy and he's narcissistic and they all have their things. Uh, Zumach is a compulsive liar, like clinically a compulsive fucking liar. He cannot not lie and and it it trips him up he he doesn't think in in this day and age we can uh, find out that he had come up with these same lies and stories previously that's my favorite on this one whereas i he he uh, uh alleges that i sent two people somehow down there in florida to track him down his house or wherever as he walks at night because i'm sure uh with, with that body he's walking every night he's doing his power walking every night it's like Alleged clockwork body. this hey, is when he has his out. breakfast this is when he goes to his car like you wouldn't chad's one of the hardest guys to track down i would think because he's such a piece of shit nothing is consistent in his life so you'd have kind of a hard time tracking him down and go all right 9 15 he always leaves this place or that place no well in all fairness you don't work out so you don't know what it takes to walk i know and what when are the best times to walk 11 right. 30 happens to be peak power walking hours <laughs> 30 yeah. at night you, yes. you're walking around uh, <laughs> in kumia but country it is fascinating that clip somebody sent me of uh, that guy <laughs> Rover talking about, you know, Chad making this this claim. Yeah. Uh, but it's not just about this claim. It's literally word. It's like doing a table read of a script that, that you know, The Godfather today. Yeah. It's, it's word for word. And that's crazy. Now I'm hooked again. At first, I was like... Okay, I think he got punched in the eye. I don't think it was compound. I don't think it was steel, though. But I think he got punched in the eye. You know, I know Chad for years. There's plenty of reasons to hit him in the <laughs> yeah, eye. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I, I love him. And he's opening for me the 13th. And if I find out this is a lie, April 13th at Side Splitters, I will punch him in the eye for real. Uh, <laughs> but he, he, you know, he's it's word for word. And that's fucking weird. At least run it through one of those AI programs that could punch it up. You know, all right. Uh, ask ask the AI program. Say, come up with a story where I get punched in the eye and someone is responsible for it, and I'll give you the right. name and everything. And then AI will pump out something that's fucking awesome. Right. Uh, but yeah, you can't use your own story, your own homework from fucking a couple of years back with the same you know people involved. So yeah, Rover Rover has a show in uh, Cleveland. Is it? I, I, I don't know where it's Cleveland, Cleveland yeah. Cleveland, right? And, That's and where Chad's a, from. Apparently, a couple of years back, 10 years back, or whatever it is, uh, Zumach was doing a show out there for a, a little while, I guess, and had some beef. Uh, like he does with us for some reason with Rover. Mm -hmm. And right. uh, he, he had gotten punched, and he said that uh, two guys walked up to him and said something to the effect of, you know, don't fuck with Rover. <laughs> it's the same thing. Don't fuck with Kumia. Uh, so, yeah, his, his lies aren't even very creative. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's another story I heard where he said a guy put a gun to his head and he was mugged. He posted something years ago. It's like, well, I got mugged. Someone put a gun to my head and said, give me your cell phone or your money and your backpack or something. Here it is. Last night outside of Birmingham, Alabama, I was Shout driving. Out. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll be, I'll be there. Uh, I believe uh, this month. I think I'm there with a buddy doing the the. Uh, God damn it! What's the name of that venue out there? Uh, whatever, the Stardome. Thank oh, you. Oh, okay. Go. So that, yeah, yeah. Was it you? This wasn't you that did this, was it? 
<laughs> yeah, he had nothing in that backpack. By yeah, the way. this is only a couple of years ago. Uh, outside Birmingham, Alabama, I was driving back to Tampa and I got mugged outside my hotel room at gunpoint. I told a few people last night and this morning I had a ton of messages. Just letting you know I'm fine, but a little freaked out. Sure. I want. Uh, I went to my car to get my backpack and next door to some to get some food when i was coming back to my room a guy came up to me around the corner with a gun and said give me your wallet and backpack <laughs> yeah see <laughs> dance vomit dance hands up <laughs> hands up reach for the sky he said <laughs> <laughs> then he made me dance. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking, uh, give me a wallet and backpack. I obviously did. And he got away with about 700 in cash. The most unrealistic part of the story <laughs> is that he ever has $700 on him. <laughs> My paycheck from comedy club. What? Oh, uh, a bunch of notebooks. Well, that's worthless. <laughs> Have his act in it, and purse and personal stuff. I'm sure it says something like that. But uh, yeah, that was uh, a couple of years ago. Robbed at gunpoint. Uh, and, and stay tuned for the next robbery, guys. Should yeah, be yeah, uh, yeah. coming up, you know, in a few months. Well, that that should be coming up, and it's it's an anniversary. Uh, he likes and doing Chad these things. Chad is one of those guys. Chad is one of those guys. He's just endlessly entertaining for me. I can I can watch hey. him and listen to him. It, he's he's entertaining. That I will say. In the past couple of weeks, I have dedicated hours. <laughs> hours of showtime here to nothing more than Chad Zumak. So, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's literally my YouTube history is a Chad stuff. <laughs> and, uh, this deep dive, I went on the Tourette's thing on TLC, this documentary oh. of these three dudes with Tourette's that they put them in an RV and let them drive around. And it's the funniest goddamn it's guys. Yeah, it's three dudes. All of them have different tics and shit. They're all yeah. like fucking bugging out and fucking one guy. Okay, so that was them talking about Stuttering John and Chad Zumach. Uh Stuttering John, is he really going to return? I haven't seen him drop anything in like a year almost. Uh, I guess he's still on Twitter threatening people and stuff, though. I know... Um, he did something to Casey Armstrong's channel, like tried hitting him with strikes and stuff. But in Casey, me and him were talking about it. But Shuey seems to believe that that's not actually Stuttering John, but someone just pretending to be Stuttering John, some trolls. Uh, they're not buying the uh, Zumok got punched thing well surely kind of is but uh yeah bringing up that story from that chad told from that long ago and doesn't look good for chad in that um, situation uh what are all these people doing i mean chad zumach versus was it kumia and the steel toe guys and who are these podcasts and People are getting jumped and cops are being called. It's so weird to me. All this beef happening. I just find it all to be hilarious, though, to be completely honest with you. But, uh, yeah, it seems like if Stutter John returns, well, that'll make Kumia and Hardy's podcast really happy because, I mean, hell, they're doing stuff about Stuttering John, like, multiple times a week. And the dude doesn't even, like, do a show anymore. So if he comes back, they'll definitely have something to talk about. But uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments.